Hey everyone, Dave here with just a quick announcement. Uh, right now on my Patreon page, uh, there is an audio commentary for the first episode of Dave Does Disney, the Magic Kingdom episode. If you just subscribe at the $2 level or higher, you can listen to that commentary where I explain just what my thought process was in creating a 20 minute long review of a Disney park and then several subsequent reviews. I'll be uh, recording the subsequent commentary soon, so if you have any questions about any of the other Dave Does Disney videos, let me know and I will try to address those questions in future commentaries. But for now, just go on, uh, subscribe, and check out that commentary and just learn what drives a man to do this. I am, of course, wearing a universal shirt as I talk about my Disney commentary because I did not think this through. This whole announcement video is ruined. Well, if you're too broke to subscribe to my Patreon, you can watch a sample clip of the commentary right now. Hey everyone, Dave here, and welcome to the Dave Does Disney Commentary! I'm going to attempt to explain just what the hell I was thinking when I put this series together, and originally what I was thinking was, hey, I could film myself goofing off at Disney World, that would make a fun vlog. Little did I know it would soon consume my life. But yeah, basically how this all started was, I was living in Orlando for a little while, I uh, had a temp job slash internship with the film and new media department of a large ministry organization and uh, when I started working there they gave me a Disney World seasonal pass so I was excited because as I mentioned in the videos uh, uh, growing up I visited family in California all the time and every couple of years we'd go to Disneyland if we could afford it uh, on the years we couldn't afford it we would go to Knott's Berry Farm instead but I had never been to Disney World uh, even though growing up in the Northeast all of my friends, their family vacations would be to Florida, so they'd talk about how great Disney World was, and I'd be like, I've done Disneyland, it's similar. We don't have an Epcot, but we have a dude in a Mickey costume. Isn't that really all you need? So I was really excited to actually see Disney World in person and not just in the Full House episode I taped off a of TV to live vicariously through. And... Uh, yeah, I brought my camera, originally intending to do just a goofing off, hey, it's my first time at Disney World vlog, uh, akin to the sort of goofing off convention vlogs I would do, or things like that. And that all got way, 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 way expanded over the course of the post-production process, and uh, we'll go into why in more detail over the course of this commentary. I saw that piano player at Main Street a couple times. He was really good and a really nice guy. Uh, Never caught his name. I caught that guy's name. That guy's name is Uncle Walt, and he is the savior of us all. But yeah, it's abundantly clear from some of these shots that uh, I wasn't really planning on making this a full thing, and I wasn't really trying to get actual good shots. I just left my camera rolling while walking around Main Street and uh, sort of had to basically steal clips of my own footage and just use whatever worked in order to pad out the footage that goes over the narration. I tried to use Disney music for the most part, unless I had a better idea for a piece of music, uh, in this first episode at least. Uh, you'll notice uh, right now it's the Swiss Family Robinson music, but earlier was the Enchanted soundtrack, which comes up a lot uh, over the course of this series. The Enchanted Suite sort of became the unofficial theme music of Dave Does Disney, because, you know, Enchanted is Disney's affectionately snarky take on itself, and... Uh, this is my affectionately snarky tribute to Disney, so it just seemed right. And yeah, Swiss Family Robinson is a very nostalgic movie for me. I think even extra nostalgic because we didn't actually own it, so I didn't watch it over and over. I just saw it a few times over the course of my childhood, but each time it left quite an impression on me. So yeah, I like Swiss Family Robinson. I haven't seen it in years. I have no idea if it holds up other than the clips that I got. Now this Skipper Dan bit, uh, one of the bits from when this was just an improvised goofing off at the parks video, so this is me goofing off with this Skipper Dan gag, and uh, Alpocalypse was not out yet at this time, it was just uh, internet leaks, so the filming of this bit predates Skipper Dan being on an actual album. That is a factoid that is interesting to nobody but myself. But yeah, this was uh, one of the 
earliest bits I put together was the clips of the Jungle Cruise set to Skipper Dan. It was obvious, but obligatory. Now, I never rode the Magic Carpets of Aladdin, but it's a spinner ride. I can't imagine it was that full of surprises. I also never saw the Under New Management Tiki Room. Uh, I have not heard particularly flattering things about it, but some people I know like it, so I'm not really going to judge. Now, this Pirates bit, this is the reason Dave Does Disney became what it did. Originally... I sort of just rambled uh, as semi-incoherent rant on camera here, just improvised. And uh, I'm not sure if I even made it through the rant completely before I just thought, eh, what the hell, I'll just record this in a voiceover later. And uh, when I actually wrote out the rant and recorded it in a voiceover, it was just so out of place in the midst of this loose goofing off video. But at the same time, it was something that was weighing on my nerdy chest, as it was. Uh, the firstest of first world problems, I know. But it was one of those things where it's like, well, I have these opinions and these opinions need to get out there, damn it.